Hello, I'm John Manier from AccuSlice. In this video, I'll be designing and 3D printing some soft jaws for my Kurt Vices. I'll be using these soft jaws, which I'm going to uh, make from uh, some PLA plastic, to machine some 6 inch by 12 inch by quarter inch thick aluminum plates for my AccuSlice system. In this video, I'll be describing the design and 3D printing of these vice jaws using PLA filament material. At the end of the video, I'll describe some modifications made to the printout of the PLA material jaws to improve their strength, and also the use of some carbon-filled PLA filament material to produce even stronger vice jaws. I designed these soft jaws using the Fusion 360 software. My current vice is a 4-inch vice, but I made these soft jaws 6 inches long by 2 inches tall by 1 inch thick. I also cut a recess in the top corner, which is a quarter inch deep by 0.2 inches wide. So I don't, need, I don't need to use parallels with these soft jaws. I next exported a step file to the Bamboo 3D printer. I designed two versions of these soft jaws, one for the front uh, mounting plate and one for the rear plate. So there are two different uh, sizes. And I'm printing both the front and back at the same time. So I set up my bamboo system and then I started printing. Here's a sped up version of the actual printing of the soft jaws on my bamboo 3D printer. And I'm using PLA plastic to print these out. The total printing time for these two jaws is three and a half hours. And here's the finished soft jaws. Now I actually made two sets of soft jaws, one in this red PLA plastic and a second version in the black plastic. But the uh, black is a little bit harder to photograph, that's why I used the red. Now I'm not sure if the PLA plastic is going to be strong enough for this application. I am only machining an aluminum plate a quarter inch thick, six inches by 12 inches long. So it may work. But if not, I can try some other plastics, some, just such as the, uh, the carbon filled plastics. But we'll give this a try and see how it works. This is the aluminum plate I'm machining. It's uh, 12 inches long, 6 inches wide, a quarter inch deep. Now in order to accomplish this, I need to put one of my uh, vice jaws back here and the other here, and then it fits fine. That way I can machine the entire width. There's my two sets of soft jaws installed. And now that uh, we mount my plate, that's being held securely in place. Now I have a, I'll be using six tools for this project, so I may set my tools up and get them all aligned and I'll start machining. For this first step I'm using a number seven drill to drill three holes 0.201 inches in diameter. This view is being shown to five times the actual cutting speed for viewing purposes. I also eliminated the tool changes again just to shorten the viewing time. In this next step, I'm using the thread mill to thread the uh, three holes to uh, one quarter inch, 20 thread per inch threads. This third tool chain uses a quarter inch diameter drill to drill a number of holes, which will subsequently be countersunk. This plate is to be used as a mounting plate for our AccuWedge system for the slicing of wedges for segmented wood turning. A countersinking drill bit is then used to countersink all of the quarter inch diameter holes. These holes are for the mounting of this plate to a band saw using some 1 quarter inch 20 thread per inch flathead machine screws. Next, three holes, 0.159 inches in diameter, are drilled 1 half inch from the side edge of the plate. As a final step, we are once again a thread milling number 1032 screw holes in those three holes which were previously drilled. Again, as I mentioned, these holes will be used to mount a dust guard for the AccuWedge system. And here is the finished aluminum plate machine with the PLA 3D printed jaws for the two Kurt 4-inch vices. These plastic jaws did work quite well for this project. However, I'm not sure how they would hold up with some heavy machining or the machining of steels. But for this light project, they perform quite well, and this type of jaw will be beneficial in the future for producing some custom machine jaws for my vices. I did perceive one minor problem with these current PLA 3D printed jaws. When I tightened the vice jaws, I could feel some minor deflection of the sides of the plastic jaws. 
This was not a problem for this project since my tolerance levels were not that great, but this could be a problem for highly accurate machining. These jaws were printed with PLA filament material. I did increase the outer shell layers to a thickness of 10 solid layers on the outside of the 3D printed jaws to make them stronger, but the fill density of the inner body of the 3D printed jaws was only 25%. I think that that fill density was too low, and that is the reason for the deflection. Each of the two PLA jaws required three and a half hours to print out on my bamboo 3D printer. In order to resolve the issue of these PLA jaws moving very slightly uh, as they were being clamped in the vise, I tried two additional versions of some new 3D printed jaws. This first set of jaws on the right here was printed with the same PLA filament material, but the density of the printed pieces was increased to 100%. This provides for a more solid PLA plastic jaw with no fill or gap holes in the center of the plastic material. This set of jaws is much denser and the deflection I observed was much less with this set of jaws. But I did, still did see a very, very slight amount of deflection. This set of jaws requires six and a half hours to print, so it took quite a bit longer to print. Next I printed a set of 3D jaws using some PLA carbon filament material. This filament material is a custom blend of some tough PLA plastic along with some carbon fibers. This material provides for increased hardness and density of the 3D printed jaws for this curved vise. The density of these 3D printed jaws was also 100%. This set of jaws required 8.5 hours to print on the a bamboo 3D printer. But these are even better. In fact, I like these a lot. Uh, there's very, very, very little movement of these as they're being clamped. Uh, so these will be what I'll be using in the future for all my uh, jigs for custom uh, ma machining. These, this material, I said, is a, a carbon-filled uh, material. It is a little bit harder to print. And there's a diff couple different versions of this I'll be trying in the future. This is a PLA version, which is also a high-temperature version, which is even stiffer than this, which I'll be trying in the future also. But in the meantime, I'm making a set of actually four of these uh, jaws for my vices. And I'll be trying to see how they hold up uh, long term, which is some standard machining. What makes these nice is I can use this to uh, do some custom uh, prototypes. If I'm making a prototype on a part, I don't want to spend hours or days, you know, machining some uh, custom uh, aluminum or, or steel jaws. I can just design the uh, jaw in the uh, Fusion 360 software, print it out. If it's off and needs adjustment, I can print another version. So it's quick and easy to develop these new jaws for these new uh, projects I'm working on. So this will be the material I'll be using going forward. So I won't be using the other materials anymore. I won't be using this PLA. I'll be using this uh, carbon filled uh, materials. Being able to design custom vice jaws in the Fusion 360 software and then 3D print them out using my bamboo 3D printer will be quite beneficial for custom machining of projects in the future. The cost for production is relatively low, and I can experiment with multiple designs and redesigns of device jaws as my projects are designed and continually developed. Using this plastic material for custom vice jaws for prototypes or project development will be quite cost effective. Later, if these projects require increased volumes of machine parts, I can use these previously developed designs to machine some more stable and rare resistant aluminum or steel vice jaws. For all of my next projects, I'll be using a PLA carbon filled filament material for producing the custom soft jaws for these projects. Based on the studies described in this video, I have determined this material is stiffer and more rigid than the basic PLA material and will give me the accuracy required for my machining projects. In the future, I'll also be experimenting with other carbon filled filament materials for improved rigidity and performance. And once again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns, as always, give me a call or drop me an email. And thank you.